As you can tell, this is also being filmed on Thursday because why not, you know? Why not? This is a review on Prodigy by Marie Lu. It's a sequel to Legend, the second out of three books, though I thought there were only two books in the series. I think it used to be just a two book series and I was really concerned. <laughs> and um, cause when you finish this book, you'll know why at the very end it's like, but no, that's not what I want. But it is actually a trilogy now, so I can't wait for the next book. This was published in January by Penguin Books, and Penguin actually sent me this copy, which is awesome because I was going to buy it anyway, so that's cool. This review will have spoilers for the first book because a lot happened in Legend and it's going to- I just threw the book. A lot happened in Legend and it's going to come up in this review, so sorry if you haven't read Legend. I suggest go reading it. It's a really fast read, really, really quite good. Um, great dystopian. I did a review on the first book Legend if you're interested in that and I will link it down below that was last year. I definitely preferred Prodigy to Legend. I really like Legend and I like a lot of it but I do think that it kind of fell into that trap of all dystopian being really really similar and things like that whereas I think this book kind of took it to a different level and there were a lot more different situations that I liked and I, I learned to love the voices more. I just thought this was a lot better. Basically the story of Legend, for anyone who's cheating and just watching this, the story of Legend is about a girl who was a prodigy and her brother was in the military in this dystopian world and she was a prodigy and there was also Day who is known kind of like the Robin Hood of this world. He was um, the biggest most wanted criminal and he did a lot of things like steal from the rich to give to the poor. Yeah, he reminded me of Robin Hood. Um, then it turns out at the very end of Legend, spoilers, 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 that he was also a prodigy, but for some reason the government didn't want him to be a prodigy, so they made him fail his exam, which kind of tells you where you're good enough to end up in life sort of thing. I don't want to explain the whole world because it will get too convoluted. This story picks up shortly after the previous book, and June and Day are on a train heading to Vegas to try and hook up with the rebel team, essentially, the people who are fighting against the, um, Republic of Los Angeles and everything. This book is the story of June and Day meeting up with the Patriots who are the rebel team and then making a plan, or they don't make a plan, they work towards a plan to kill the Elector Primo, who's basically the president of the Republic, um, who June actually knows and it's this whole plan to murder him to kind of save the Republic because he's kind of a symbol of the Republic and he think everyone thinks he's responsible for all the horrible things happening. I think the reason I prefer this book to Legend is that Legend felt like a lot of, lot of plot and in a very short time leaving little room for characters. This book, however, is a bit longer than Legend. Also, I feel like it had a lot more room for characters. And that's what I love when reading books is the characters more so than the plot. So that's why I preferred this one. I do prefer these covers though. I wish my legend looked like that, but I have like the really ugly legend cover. But this one's nice. Marie Lu's writing is really nice. It's fast paced. It's great for the genre. I don't think it's the most interesting uh, writing style in the world, but I do quite like it. I don't dislike it at all. And I also like the dual narrators. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I quite like going between June and Day, especially for seeing how different situations played out for both of them. I like that a lot. And it also worked well in this book because they were separate a lot, which I guess is the same in Legend, but whatever. This review is all over the place and I apologize. Basically, I gave Prodigy four out of five stars and I definitely can't wait for the last book. I, as I said, I got to the end thinking it was just two books and the last chapter hit and I was like, but it was all going so well. I should also note that I read this whole book in one night and I sat down, I was like, oh, I should, what book should I read next? I'll pick, oh, Prodigy. That's a good one. And then I stay up till three o'clock in the morning reading it. Oops. And that is all for this week of videos. I will probably have a video up next week anyway, but yeah, no more videos every day because I'm all caught up with my reviews. I have one book that I read, it was, I finished my Walt Disney biography by Bob Thomas, so I will review that or I might wait until I read another uh, Disneyland related book and review both of them at once. I haven't decided yet. If there are any book tags you'd like me to do and you've made it this far, leave them in the comments because I do want to film some of those in the future and I'll see you next time. Bye!